back at Intermobile UK with Ben at Intermobile Towers checking out uh, the software side of uh, the Ink Chat 3G, uh, which is a relatively new device from Ink that you can find on the 3 UK network and uh, I believe now a few other networks as well. Um, so I've had a look at the hardware previously um, and now we're having a bit of a look at the, at the software, uh, or the OS, the UI, that kind of stuff. And uh, wow, I mean, talk about colour fest. So this is, this is the home screen of the Chat 3G. Um, and as you can see, there's quite a, uh, an array of uh, different colours in the wallpaper, but also uh, quite a selection of apps. And this little bar at the bottom is something you'll find that's common that you can pull up at pretty much any time uh, to swap between apps. I might even be called the App Switcher, which uh, would be uh, pretty much a spot on name for it. So as you can see here, you've got uh, the Chat 3G being all about social networking, um, internet access. You've got pretty much every uh, social networking or, or Web 2.0 or browsing uh, app under the sun, uh, search, messaging, um, a few kind of onboard apps like contacts, but even the contacts are drilled in with the likes of Facebook and Twitter, so very much an integrated device. Um, if we just pe have a peek down here, we can see we've got the start call, end call, and then uh, menu button itself. If we hit the menu button, uh, wowza, that is the menu screen. Now, I don't know about you, but I find that extremely confusing. Um, first of all, where's the highlight? Where are we starting off? Um, and secondarily, uh, it's very difficult to get any kind of order or arrangement for your eyes. Now, we're actually highlighting the messages, um, and as we move across, everything goes to black and white that you're highlighting. And I suppose once you realize that, and probably once you're used to it, uh, it's a fair enough thing. But, but uh, for me, personally, uh, yowza, look at all those colors. Uh, so let's just have a little dip into messages. Now we can create a message, uh, and we have various different options there to uh, in which ways you want to create a message. Obviously, we've got uh, SMS, email, Twitter, Facebook, chat, Skype, chat, crumbs, uh, absolutely support for choice. Um, let's just back out of that. We can have a look at uh, the browser. Uh, this is running a brew for its, uh, its OS, so as you can see, um, there are some differences compared to uh, other smartphone OSs. Let's just go to Planet 3. Uh, why not? And uh, wait for it to connect. Uh, and as you can see, it's running over um, HSPA, which is the little H symbol in the top left-hand corner. Um, and it, you know, it runs at a reasonable pace. So you can browse down the, the site, and uh, it's not super smooth like, a, for example, an iPhone or maybe an Android browser. But you know, it does the job, and uh, the site's nicely optimized to fit the screen. Well, it would be because it's three site. Um, let's just close that. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to exit from the web and uh, back up. Let's have a look at some more apps. So, pictures. Let's take a look at the, see how the screen copes with uh, with some images. Um, and let's just select something to open. How about that? You can see here there's a little bit of lag between me pressing buttons and stuff happening. Um, we can zoom in. Uh, as you can see, I think it's a six key that will give you that. So you've got. We've got the uh, ability to, to deal with the likes of images, uh, messaging, and what have you, in a reasonable fashion. It isn't a smartphone OS. It's it's a kind of semi or pseudo Java-like uh, implementation with Brew or something that's more like. Um, but it's yeah, it's, it's a reasonable, um, reasonable interface, and certainly for a phone at this price point, which is only about 100 pounds on pay as you go, which is incredibly cheap for a phone of this sort. Um, you have got a phone that's absolutely loaded to the brim with stuff. Now, if you're not a big social networking fiend, or if you don't have to message uh, everyone about everything, maybe this phone isn't quite so exciting to you. Um, but for me personally, you know, I think it's a, it's a, it's a pretty good effort. Um, what have we got there in terms of videos? Let's have a little look at that. Um, so that looks like it's a, a video that someone else has taken. Not that interesting to me personally, and, and the video quality didn't look too great either. Um, but like I said, £100 on, on, uh, on pay as you go, you're getting a budget phone. Um, and as, you, as you'll see if you check out the hardware review that I did, actually the, uh, the hardware implementation is absolutely fantastic. It's a, it's a really nice uh, tactile phone, uh, extendable set of covers, which maybe isn't the most exciting thing for most people. Uh, but the way the hardware is put together, and if you can deal with the, I would argue, perhaps slightly quirky uh, software, uh, then you, you potentially have got a great uh, social networking phone on your hands at a great price point. Um, so that's uh, just a very brief look at the uh, 
the software side of the uh, Inkchat 3G, uh, available on 3UK and, and I believe in our other networks as well. And uh, check out uh, Intermobile's YouTube channel and uh, intermobile.com.